everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I style my hair using my Dyson Airwrap. So shamelessly, I have had this for quite a long time and I feel bad that I've not actually filmed a video on how I use it yet. I probably don't use it either as much as I should do, which is, you know, just being real. Um, but I do love it and I love how it makes your hair look and it looks like blow dried and bouncy and gorgeous and for those of you that know me or have watched my channel for a long time I nearly always curl my hair because I just feel like that's what suits me best and um, so I'm sure most of you will have seen what the Dyson Airwrap looks like already so it comes with this sort of main handset and then in the box you get a selection of different components which will do different things so you get like a little hair dryer you get two different size barrels a straightening brush and a round brush and it's just got everything in it really to be honest it's one of those products which is a really good all-rounder because it's got all the little different components that attach onto the main sort of handheld thing i don't know what you would call it um because it's got all those different components, it is really good and versatile. So if you like big, voluminous, curly, even straight hair, which has got more bounce and volume, you'll really, really like this. It's one of the reasons I like it because my hair texture is so fine and delicate. I tend not to get a lot of lift or like it's very flat naturally. So, I think we should just get going because my hair is getting drier and drier by the second. So I'm just gonna start by using the little mini hair dryer section with it. And I'll make sure that my hair is pretty much almost dry and just a little bit damp, which doesn't take very long for me because my hair's so fine. Um, the thing I love about this, and one of the reasons why I was drawn to it, as I said before, one of the big reasons was that it was so versatile and it gave you that really bouncy blow, curly, voluminous look to your hair, which is like what I need. And one of the other reasons I really, really like this product is because you get different heat settings, you get, as a normal hair dryer would, you get the instant shot of cold air and then you get the different levels of intenseness that it's blowing. <laughs> Um, so that was one of the things I really liked about it because obviously with fine hair and because I do colour my hair I want to be really mindful of how much heat I'm putting on it um, so I'll just make sure that with the hair dryer that my hair is pretty much almost dry and just a little bit damp and then let's change this now so I'm taking the smaller barrels to do my hair today and I'm gonna put it in sections So I'm gonna clip the top section up. So on each barrel, you'll see there are arrows with the direction in which your hair is going to twist around the device. So what I tend to do is I will get the section of hair that I want and I will just lean the barrel up um, towards it and let the hair wrap around it on its own and kind of keep it there. So I like to curl my hair, making sure my hair is curled away from my face, but some people will do alternate, like if you do it one way and then the other, curl it in the other direction, you'll get more of a beachy feel to the hair. I tend to like it away from my face because I just find that it frames my face nicely. So that is how I'm going to be doing it today. So I'm gonna turn it on, so sorry that you're not gonna be able to hear me. And then I'll just put it up to my hair. So as you could see, all I did was lean the barrel up against the section of hair that I wanted to curl. I left it there for a few seconds on the hottest heat because that for me means that the curl lasts a bit longer when I do it quite hot. I'll leave it on there and then I will do a few, once I'm happy that I feel like it's curled it enough and dried that section, I will do a shot of cold. <laughs> I'll do a shot of cold so that the curl's cold and then I will let go. And then what I like to do is 
I have a whole new bunch of clips here to be able to do this. I will wrap the curl back on itself so it goes back into its curled position. So then I just wrap the curl back up on itself, clip it in place and then leave it there to go cool on its own. So this is just setting the curl in the position that we've curled it because if you let it just drop, you can just let it drop straight from the heat but it's more you're more likely to get a looser curl whereas if you do this you're going to get more long lasting curls and it's going to have a more defined curl. So that tends to be how I do mine. So let's do the other side. So to do the other side you can either turn the barrel upside down which will make it do the away from the face direction or you can change it to the other way around if you want to do it like this um, but I'm just gonna do it how I normally do it keep the curl nice and wrapped up and then just clip it in place and it is literally that easy. Um, you will see a lot of people taking the barrel off and on. I tend to just turn it upside down <laughs> because it's just quicker. I don't know, maybe I'm just lazy. Um, but I'm gonna do the rest of my hair so you can see, see what it looks like. So that is the majority of it done so far. We have literally just got the top section to do. So with the top section, because I like lots of volume, I will basically leave just this very last top bit and then I will section it off, starting from the back to the front. So what I did there to get maximum volume on the top of my head is I tried to like suck the hair up onto the barrel and then place the barrel sideways and then I let the curl come out on top like that and then it's literally just a case of doing what we've done with the rest of them and setting it and then I'm going to do that on the next section and then my very front bits I will do slightly different. And then my face framing little sections that I have around my face, I will literally just do as I would do with the straighteners. So I will keep them away from my face and make sure they're sort of curled round. And then I don't pin them, I'll leave them loose because I don't want them to be over curly. But it's exactly the same technique that we've used before.
a shot of cold heat and then with my front bits I will literally just leave them loose like that because if we pin them they're just going to be too curly and I like around the front of my face to be quite loose um, which is exactly what I do if I'm using the straighteners so we want to do is... oh <laughs> so we want to do the same on the other side This could be the most glamorous I've ever looked on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I look crazy right now. It's one of those processes where it's like trust the process and it looks a little crazy when all the curls are pinned up, but it's one of those things like I'm not too bothered about the curls looking perfect when they're pinned in my head. All I want is for them to set and to go off and to last as long as possible once I've taken them out. So do not worry if you're looking a little crazy right now because hey ho, it's the price of beauty I'm afraid. <laughs> I know some people can make pin curls look so glamorous but that is not the lie for me. Um, but here we are. So we just want those bits to set a little bit at the front before we do too much with them. Um, so I'm gonna give it a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back and finish off the rest of my hair. So I've given the curls about 10 minutes just to properly cool down because most of them will have cooled down as you were doing the rest of your hair. So once you're at this stage, it's literally just a case of taking all your grips out before I start messing with my hair, I will literally take every single clip out. So that I know there's nothing in there that I'm gonna catch my hairbrush on. There's nothing worse than, you know, like if you've done something like this or you've got a hairstyle in and you think you've got all the clips out and then you put the brush through and you're like, ugh, I found another one. So I like to make sure I've taken everything out. And you can probably tell as I'm sporting this amazing 70s <laughs> hairstyle at the minute, just leaving the curls to set gives them so much more volume and bounce and they just do so much better that way and I find that they last a lot longer. Um, so what I then like to do is either use my fingers to brush out the curls or I will take a brush and just break the curls up slightly. You don't want to be too heavy handed with this, you just want to be quite gentle. Kind of fiddle with the curls until they're into the position that you want for your hair. If you, can you see what I mean by leaving the front bits not to cool down in a pin curl is a lot better for the front because it just gives it a lot more softer look. And the other thing to know at this stage is what you see now, this isn't how your curls are gonna stay. They will drop quite considerably. So what I like to do um, while the hair is still this big and curly is actually take an, uh, an oil for my hair. So I use the Moroccan oil light. This is the best thing ever. I absolutely love it. And I'll take a couple of pumps on my hand and literally like, I put it all over my hands to be fair, so that I can just run my fingers through my hair and it just slightly, I mean, obviously other than being really good for your hair and adding moisture to your hair, it just defines the curls a little bit and weighs them down so that they're not quite as crazy as they are when you first take them out. So once I've had a little bit of a fiddle with it and I've got the oil in, this is basically what I'm left with. Now this is, like I would love it if it stayed like this personally because I just love really big curly hair. Um, but it will drop a little bit and look a little bit more softer. But the thing I love most about the Dyson Air Wrap is how much volume I can get at the root, which I just don't get when I use a straightener. I like straighteners or GHDs or whatever you're using to curl your hair. I like them because I find them really easy and really quick but nothing looks as much like a curly blow as the Dyson Airwrap. I mean, look at this. You can't, you can't, it would be very, very difficult to get this with a hair straightener for me personally because of how fine and delicate my natural hair is. Um, so this is why I love the air wrap so much because I get these big, voluminous, sexy, kind of bombshell 
curls and for me they do last quite well as I said at the beginning uh, my hair likes being curled because it lasts quite well in a curl it does not last when I straighten it so I do find that this system works really well for me and I will sleep in this and it'll still be curly a little bit in the morning it won't be as curly as this the next day but it'll have an element of a curl to it so it won't just be crazy and all over the place like it is most of the time so this is basically the finished thing except imagine it dropped a little bit you know once you get going outside and the winds on it and stuff like that the curls are gonna loosen off quite a lot I wish they'd stay like this um, but you will still have that remnants of volume and that blow-dry kind of look to your hair which I am obsessed with so that is basically how I use my air wrap I am literally the laziest person in the world because I think most people would change the the barrel with the arrows going in a different direction to do their hair but for me like I just quite frankly it's, it's not just that I don't have the time but I just don't have the patience to sit there to like t taking the detachment off and on um so I do just turn it upside down because to me that is just so much easier so I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and if you have any video suggestions whatsoever leave them in the comments down below and if you've got any tips on how to use the air wrap or anything which I didn't mention got any questions about the air wrap leave them down below and I will get back to you on them but yeah if you've got any tips on how to use it to make it easier for everybody and um, because I know it's one of those things that when you first use it you're a bit like oh how do I uh, how do I work this but once you've got the hang of it it's dead easy um, but if any of you use it and you have any tips for us then leave them in the comments down below for everybody and thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video bye